A person stands at the side of a railway track. And the train is moving towards the person. So here's a human. Here's a train coming towards the human. And what's the sound now? Oh, the train got some whistle. All right. Maybe I don't want to draw so nice one now. Okay, uh, let's pretend this dot is a train. The person will hear a frequency of 1690 when the train approaches him. So you hear or you observe 1690 hertz. Is that the original sound? No, the train is moving towards you. So the wave that come out will be kind of squashed like that as it moves towards you with a certain speed of source. What's the source frequency? We don't know. Question mark. Then the train move away now. Okay, so here we draw the train again. Train is moving away. Still giving out the sound. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. And now the person will hear something else, a different frequency. So now when it's moving away, the person will hear, observe, 1500 hertz. And they give us speed of sound in air, which is V. What is the speed of the train? Also known as what is the speed of source of this thing? Hmm. Let's stay calm and write the equation as the first step. The equation for Doppler effect is given in all the data formula sheet. So you can kind of uh, write it down or you can memorize it or you can copy it from the data formula sheet. So it's VF observer over F source. It's a ratio over the speed of sound speed of sound plus minus v source so there's two scenario here when it's going towards the human and when it's going away from the human something like that it will sound like that go and stand by the roadside you will hear this so let's consider the case where it's going towards the human first this is going to be towards, so we are going to use the negative sign inside here. Okay, if towards, negative. So let's plug in all the values. So we towards the time, you will hear 1690 over don't know what source. Equals to 340 over 340 minus an unknown VS. Oh no, we have two unknown. Means cannot solve. If there's two unknowns, means we need two equations to solve. So we think, we think oh, wait, 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 wait. Moving away also can find, make an equation. Okay, let's do another equation. Let's choose green for this. So moving away. You're going to use the same equation, but this time you put plus instead. So moving away will be, what do you hear? 1500. Zero, zero. Okay, so 1500. Zero, zero. Divide by source. Don't know what is it also. Le. Then this will be 340 over 340 plus Vs. Aha! Now we have two equations and two unknown. We can solve Vs. So this is what we call simultaneous equation substitute. Simul simultaneous solving. Here is equation 1. And the other side here is equation 2. So... From here, the math is can be quite long. So depending on how you use it or how you write it, use calculator, use method, also can. Lah. I'm going to show you what I write. So I need to solve simultaneous. Simultaneous by substituting Fs into each other. Okay. Let me rearrange this a bit. Ah. So this one will be rearranged. Fs equals to... 340 minus Vs over 340 multiply by 1690. Where to put? Uh, multiply 1690. Ah, oh, that looks okay. Then the other side, if I rearrange so that I have Fs equals to this one will be 340 plus Vs. It's a bit long. Lah. My method, you may have a shorter one. 1500. Yeah. Okay. So now I have Fs and Fs, I can equate or substitute Fs into each other and I get the final which is 340 minus Vs over 340 
times 1690 equals to, now the green color side, 340 plus Vs over 340 times 1500. Oh my goodness, many minutes later, you should get Vs of roughly 20.3 meters per second. Oh, so long. So 20 meters per second is the best choice here. Lah. If you manage to get to the end. Now this part, I, I did a lot of gymnastics. Rearrange, multiply this side, get the Vs together, then only I can find the answer. But no space to write already. So I put three dots. Okay, so this is our 20.3. Once in a while, uh, physics will ask you to do simultaneous equations like this. So be aware. Okay, just remember... If there are two unknowns, right, reminder here, if you have two unknown, means you need at least two equations to find the values of any of those unknown. Okay? So keep that in mind when you're doing, uh, if you don't take maths and you're like, oh, this one is a bit strange for me, keep this tip in mind. 